Welcome to Melee Explainy. I'm Swish, and today we'll be exploring the history of your favourite player's favourite player, Silent Otto Wolf. Silent Wolf was born on October 21st, 1990 in Washington. Raised alongside his three brothers, Seagull Joe, Larry Bird and Revolver Ocelot, those who knew Otto described him as a kind boy with a quick wit and generous heart. A straight A student and captain of the school soccer team, young Otto seemed destined for a life of success and a ticket out of the desolate wasteland of the Pacific Northwest. That all changed in 2001, however, with the release of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Instantly drawn to Fox due to their latent pack bond, Silent Wolf began playing the game whenever he could. Soon, blood-curdling howls would be heard from his family home at all hours of the night. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. Police called to the scene discovered that Silent Wolf would make these sounds in reaction to hitting a ledge dash, and a psychological analysis determined the condition to be involuntary and incurable. Reports say these ledge dashes were so schnasty he would lose his voice before ever dropping one. By 2006, therapy had allowed Silent Wolf to suppress his animal instincts and he was given federal permission to attend tournaments on the condition that he limited biting incidents to a maximum of twice per tournament on humans and a minimum twice per tournament on Luigi players. This stipulation is widely speculated to have contributed to the fall of Camaster, the former number one ranked player in Washington well known for his Luigi guides and the human teeth marks on his neck. Silent Wolf would make his name known with a breakout 17th place performance at Pound 3 and quickly became a star member of the community by being the first 3am Slippy unranked box fox over a decade before Slippy or the box existed. His most well known feat is performing the backwards turnaround wave shine on Samus. Scientists have yet to find a practical application for this technique other than giving yourself RSI for insurance purposes. The now legendary tech skill video Revolution, performed by Silent Wolf and fellow Leffen Slayer Lovage, would be released in July of 2010, a few months after his 17th place performance at Pound 4, and only a month before his 17th place performance at Apex 2010. It would receive widespread attention from the community, with many top players expressing their feelings in the comment section. Wow. God damn. Despicable. Man, when I seen the title in my subscriptions, I thought, oh fuck, some turning bigger and better than Genesis? Gay, lol. How did you do the screen at the end with both of you winning? These sentiments still hold true today. But not everyone was so impressed. Sure, he could press buttons really fast, but could he press them in the right order? Did this wild maverick have what it takes to be a top player? The Silent Wolf would soon have silent haters. Throwing up big with a 17th place finish at Genesis 2 and a 17th place finish at Apex 2012. It came as no surprise to the community that when the first MIOM Top 100 ranking was released in 2013, Silent Wolf was sitting among the best at a comfortable 16th place. But while your achievements only last till the next tournament, your failures last forever. No one in Melee knows this better than Silent Wolf. After dropping to losers early in Evil 2014, Silent Wolf would make an incredible loser's run, beating a fox, a fox, and a fox. But the path was not easy. On that Saturday morning, Silent Wolf entered the Westgate Hotel to play his bracket matches with a full head of hair. On the Sunday, climbing onto that top 8 stage, Was it stress and just spontaneous hair loss? Did he shave it in the mirror while Evanescence played loudly in the background? Could it be that an attempt to go Super Saiyan backfired so horribly? Reaching over 200,000 views as Axe forestalked Silent Wolf in less than a minute Evil 2014, and nearly 10 times that number as Drake vs Eminem, the best performance of a man's career would be remembered not for its glory, but for four tail spikes and a handshake. What did it all mean? One spot on the tier list? Less than $100 in prize money? A sentence in a Liquipedia biography? A man's soul. This wasn't the end of Silent Wolf. He would peak at 11th on the rankings in 2015. He would be sponsored by a tier 1 team in 2016. He would rank 8th on Ludwig's hottest smashers list in 2017. You know the kind of guy that, if you had a bunch of big doinks, you'd want to smoke it with him. I don't 
really smoke, so I, I don't know if that was accurate, but... And he would continue to put up stellar tournament performances like 17th Apex 2015, 17th Evo 2015, 17th at Genesis 3, 17th at Shine 2016, 17th at Don't Park on the Grass, and 129th at Genesis 4, falling to International Martha Mystery, Fade. But his heart wasn't in the game anymore. Our wolf wished to be free, to return to his natural habitat, the jungle. In 2018, Silent Wolf shocked the world by announcing that he'd be retiring from Melee to pursue Donkey Kong Country speedrunning full time. It isn't an easy decision, he said during a press interview, but it's not just me anymore. I have a litter of pups to take care of now, and this TSM sponsorship will make sure I can care for them. Real pack alphas understand. The change in commitments proved fruitful, and after a string of 17th place finishes at Donkey Kong Country Nationals, Silent Wolf would have the run of his life at Donkey Kong Country Evo, where he would claim first place in any percent, no major glitches, and no major skips categories. He would be denied the clean sweep, getting second place in the all stages bracket against Lovebird920, well known as the hungry box of Donkey Kong Country. While he may have never won a Xanadu like Joe, never won an NBA championship like Larry, and never won a Cold War like Ocelot, Silent Wolf deserves to be proud of his achievements. If I roll two ones, just kill me now. And the lasting influence he's had on the melee scene. And maybe there's still more to his story. In July 2020, with the release of Slippy and a new generation of melee on the horizon, Silent Wolf dusted off his controller. Entering the Rona Rumble Arena, Silent Wolf showed he hadn't missed a beat, defeating Leafblade, O2, J Wonder Boy, and uh, Space Pigeon. And then he lost to Meds and Khalid. What joke, this guy sucks. Honestly, he should just quit. He was actually so overrated as well. I used to say all the time back in 2014. Like, remember when he got four stocked by Axe? I, I knew he wasn't anything special. Like, but even as Khalid. Go back to Donkey Kong Country, trash. Stop off Michael Thank you, Silent Wolf. No one can take away your place in Melee history, or your place in our heart. I'm Swish, and this has been Melee Explainy. Good night.